Now, while you're rendering, it might behoove you to go in here and up at the very top, you can turn on safe frame so we can kind of see, you know, again, depending on your capture settings, if you're doing 1920 by 1080, this is the way your render is going to actually end up. So you want to make sure you're not too zoomed in or you're not too zoomed out and it's up over here in the middle of nowhere. You want to make sure you turn safe frame on so you get a little better idea. Now we've talked about lights and uh, these lights are casting shadows, but there's one thing we can talk about that we haven't gotten into. Uh, well, two things really. We can go in here to scene, add object, and we can do a shadow catcher. So that'll put a shadow catcher right here along the bottom. So any shadows that are being cast will end up onto this plane here. So if I do a capture image, that'll go ahead and throw it. I just have it on my, going to my desktop. So here's my uh, image here, but we can also go in here to settings, capture settings, turn on transparency. We're running out to a PNG. So now if I go to capture image, now you're going to see when I double click that one, uh, we have our shadows just being captured and everything else is transparent so you can have a little bit of your time compositing this. Speaking of compositing, you can also throw into your scene, add object, backdrop, and what you can do with the backdrop is go ahead and load in, oh I don't think I have anything really worthwhile. I guess I can throw in any image. Here's an image from my live stream. So you can go through here and um, you can have an image or not. And if you have a cool image that you want to put back here, you can. And this is where you can kind of mix it with that main camera, turn on depth of field, and then your backdrop will also be uh, part of that blurring. Uh, but let's go ahead and just take, we'll take that backdrop. We don't really need it. We'll go ahead and delete that. And the shadow catcher, uh, this is, you know, if you want to move the head, if you don't want the head just sitting right on there, you can uh, go ahead and lift it up. Uh, off the ground if you want to. That's uh, that's kind of up to you. But in this case, again, we can go ahead and delete that shadow catcher and delete the backdrop. 